Welcome to Gary Mation video 3. In this video, we're going to look at how adding GIFs into your animation videos can really make your, your video look much more modern. But it's a fine balance. We don't want to end up with a website or a video that looks like Homer Simpson's. If you don't know what that looks like, here's a short clip. Homer, bring that back in the house! Fine. Ooh, dancing Jesus! Dee -dee 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 -dee. If there's a better use for the internet, I haven't found it. If you've committed a crime and you want to confess, click yes. Otherwise, click no. You have chosen no, meaning you've committed a crime, but don't want to confess. A paddy wagon is now speeding to your home. Hey! While you wait, why not buy a police cap or t-shirt? You have the right to remain fabulous. Here it is, everybody! The world's greatest website! You'd think all the noises would be annoying, but they're not. I got suspended from school today. No kidding. Inserting your GIFs into a PowerPoint presentation to turn them into a video is actually just as easy and is the same way you would insert any image. Um, let me quickly show you how, how best you can do that. First, you just want to go into a Google search. Now what I'm going to do is search for notifications. GIF. You can test these, you can you sort of preview these before you choose them. So if we look at this little cute bell, you can see that's what the, the animated GIF looks like. Uh, I'm going to go for this green one because it does give us the notification we're looking for. In order to copy it into your presentation, just right click, copy image, Go back to your PowerPoint slide, Control and V, and in it goes. Now you'll notice, obviously, um, as we spoke about in uh, video one, the background doesn't quite match the image. It's close, it's green, doesn't look too bad. But what we can do to blend it in is we can actually just change either the color of the background to match that color there, this green color. There we go. And when we demo that, you'll see that it actually covers up the whole slide, which is exactly what you want. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to revert these colours back to the original colour. What I'm going to do is make this a little bit smaller, and I'm just going to create a round corner border for it, which is dead easy. You just go into your shapes and in in your icons at the top. Choose a round cornered one. There we go. I'm going to send it to the back. And then I'm going to change the colour from blue to the same colour of green. And then I'm going to remove the line. And there we go. You can animate that the same way you would animate any other text. So that it comes in, flies in, fades in, whichever way you want. Um, but I'm sure you'll agree, if you had that on screen, especially when you're turning your PowerPoints into uh, animated videos. If you've got a slide that's sitting fairly static while you talk. Having something like that can really keep the viewer's attention on the screen while you tell them everything that they need to know. So there you go. That's how you insert GIFs into your PowerPoint presentations. And I'm sure you'll agree, it's as easy as it is to, to insert an image. So the next time you're thinking about putting an image into your PowerPoint presentation, why not search for a GIF instead? Because it can make the world of a difference. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. The next video will all be about making the most out of big pictures.